Um, today I have another product launch video. I mean, unboxing. I'm really excited about it. Um, but if you haven't seen my unboxing video, um, that is up. So go ahead and check that out. Um, but in this video, um, but this is um, the new ColourPop Coconut Collection. Um, I ordered it as soon as it launched. Um, and I'm super excited to be trying it out and showing it to you. Um, there's also a couple other ColourPop products that either I got in last unboxing or um, I ordered with this order um, in order to want to try those out. So I'll try them out on camera. Um, I'm not going to pretend to be a makeup artist. Um, I just watch a lot of makeup on YouTube and figured I would give it a shot. So um, I'll be showing you all the products. We'll do a quick product close-up. I have all of my lighting over here ready to do all of that filming when I'm done um, with this. And I'll be swatching the palette because I gotta do it full out, right? So um, without further ado, um, before we get into the video, um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on that bell notification um, so that you're never going to miss any content that I release. Um, and leave a comment down below if you're a ColourPop fan, if you're looking into getting this makeup or what your favorite ColourPop product is so that I can check it out. Um, actually your favorite makeup product anyway. And um, if at any point you start to enjoy this video, um, please give it a thumbs up. I'm really working on engagement lately. Um, I kind of want to know what everyone's enjoying so that I can uh, curate my content accordingly. Although I really just post what I like to post, but you know, give different angles after I film this part. So, so much bubble wrap. Um, they actually bubble wrap everything. I just took it all out so it would be less loud for you all. Um, putting it on the laps the best move um uh, this one's light purple i have never gotten a light purple cotton box from color pop um, my other two one was like a dark like fuchsia and one was like a bright pink so i thought they all came in the same color so very exciting um but all of the coconut stuff comes in like this coconut packaging and has the name of it so if you see um this is where i'll put it wide um but if you see it like all of the packaging is really cute and cohesive starting with the coconut collection um so first of all they did do a palette for this um i was looking into getting the peach collection um but then they dropped the coconut one and this is what really sold me on the fact that this is one other product but this is what really sold me on um getting the coconut one so it is their plastic ones um, and it does have, ooh, it does have that big mirror. Um, I haven't taken the sticker off yet. Um, but this is the nine shades. Mine's a little like off center, but I'm gonna fix that. That's not super hard to fix, but that really makes me sad that it's not perfect. Um, but yeah, so there's nine shades. Um, and you see like, there's three like metallics. We got like a sequin one up here and then some true matte shades. I think this shade I've been watching um, so that, um, one in your upper right hand corner. Um, I've been watching a couple of other um, makeup artists and they've said that this one is also a sequin, um, but you can't really tell in this lighting. But yeah, so those three biddle are um, true shimmers. But yeah, that's the palette. Um, so I'm super excited to try that out. I'm hoping that those shades will like be readjusted. I can readjust them pretty easily. Um, yeah. We have the Coco Local Lippy Bundle, which I'm super excited to try out. Um, so this is, oh, I guess I should say what they retail for. No, I'll put that in the, I'll put that in the item description. Um, because I didn't look it up. Um, but so each of these things can be, I should say this, each of these things can be purchased, um, on their own. But I bought the whole bundle in one. Um, yeah, so the palette, um, but the lippy bundle, um, this comes with the lippy balm and the lippy scrub. So first they have the balm. I've heard really good things about ColourPop's lip balm, but so it's just like in a sweet white packaging. It doesn't say anything about it being coconut. Um, I've heard that it smells like, 
no direct smell right now, but we'll use it and we'll let you know. Um, but so there's that. And then they also comes with the lippy scrub. And so it comes in this really like frosted glass, really pretty. Um, but yeah, it's in the shade Coco Loco or the scent Coco Loco. Can you see that? I don't know if you can, but whatever. So that's the lippy bundle. Um, and that whatever it says on your screen is probably what it retails for. Um, yeah, so that comes as like a little collection piece, like all together. Um, so those two, and then the collection also comes with some Super Shock Shadows, which is Super Color Pop. I've never gotten their Super Shock Shadows. Super excited to try these. This is Call Me On My Shelf. I and mean, then so it comes with three different shadows, all I'm sure are available for like individual purpose too. Um, but you do get a discount by getting all three of them together. So we'll figure out how to try those out when we're screwing around with the makeup. Um, but so they come like individually like this and they're just little screw offs. And so you do get a pretty big plate of the actual product. Um, and this one's in deep dive and then there's two, and this is the darker of the three. Yeah. And there's two other shades that are also in browns. And I just felt like this was, they also come in little, a little quirky and peekaboo, which are the three shades. And I just felt like this particular um, collection was more wintry than the peach collection because that one really caught my eye. But um, I do think I'll be able to use all of these products. Um, and so then we have the two bronzers. This is kind of interesting. I was hoping for a highlight in this palette, if I'm being honest, or in this collection, if I'm being honest. Um, I didn't really, you're gonna learn this later when I figure out that there isn't a coconut face milk, um, but I didn't really like check out the products as much as I should have. I just was like, oh, the bundle, I'm getting it because I was getting it instead of the peach one. Um, but so there's two bronzers. I was kind of hoping for a bronzer and a highlight or a I was definitely expecting a bronzer because it's coconuts, but I was thinking like you could do like a white one for like the highlight and then a bronzer one for the bronzer. But they're two different shades of bronzer and I got both because it was part of the collection, but I don't know if either one's really gonna work for me this time. But you see two bronzers, really cute packaging. We're just gonna pull these out. Um, I'm gonna do the little product thing right here because it's gonna take me a minute to pull them out. They're both in plastic packages, which I think is really nice. Um, I do think that's better for travel, like than the cardboard that stands up, it's a little more durable. Hopefully I didn't just break it by dropping that one. Um, they are a little difficult to break in, but once you, maybe that's just because I have big fingers. Um, and they do both come with like a sizable mirror. <sighs> yeah, there's a little bit of grossness as I dropped it. Um, but there's, they're in two shades. The lighter one is called Coconut Beach and the darker one is called Talk to the Palm. So the Coconut Beach definitely has like a cooler neutral tone and the, um, Talk to the palm, the darker one. It definitely has like some warmer tones. I don't know if you can tell, um, but yeah. I'm using natural lighting, so hopefully this is as true, the colors show up as true to color as humanly possible. Um, um, and so then the last thing that really sold me on this was the Shall We Dance and the Coconut Kiss, um, which were the two lippy tint bundles. I really liked the peach ones, but I think but they are even too pink for me. So I think that the coconut ones really have sold me. And so in Coconut Kiss, there is Shaka and Wakiki. And so those, there's like a lighter shade and a darker shade in each one. So these ones are definitely a little bit like pinker. And then the other one is a little bit nuder. And so this is Shall We Dance and Island Time and Nude Beach are the two shades. And so they definitely still have like a pink, but that um, second shade, like this one, is a little redder and this second shade is definitely more nude so we'll try those out super excited about that um yeah so oh and then the other things that i got um on this round was i really want to try their new no filter concealer um so i got that ordering your shade online is super hard but i'm super pale so hopefully this will work out okay and i got it in fair 06 um let's open that bad boy up um, it's in like this really nice frosted glass. We'll see, like it looks kind of frozen, honestly. Um, but the no filter concealer, it is, I don't know, I guess we'll find out. 
thought. It might be even tanner than I thought, but that would be weird. And the other thing I got was I really wanted to try their liquid lipsticks. I've heard great things. I love a good liquid lipstick. Um, yeah. So I got this lippy bundle because it just spoke to me. And it's in combination with somebody that I don't know. I love Sarah too. Maybe she's a makeup artist. We're gonna have to check her out on YouTube. Um, so these three liquid lipsticks come in these beautiful shades. Um, I think this one's a little red for me, um, but we'll find out probably around the holiday time. I'll probably pull it out, but so I'll swap those for you guys too. Yeah, let's get into the swatching. Basically, I've already primed my face. Um, I was really disappointed to find out, and I, again, could have read this. Definitely is up on the website. Sorry, we have a dog here, if you're here, the dog, dog barking, in the back, barking in the background. Um, her name is Willow, and she's the sweetest, um, but she's a Bernese Mountain Dog and is a little bit afraid of the vacuum, and I feel like that's what's going on. Um, but, so, the makeup. So I really wanted to use all the products. Um, from the coconut collection. I will be using a couple of products that aren't ColourPop. This video is not sponsored, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but because I just don't, they didn't have them in the collection or I don't have ColourPop related products, but I really wanna try out the no filter concealer as well as all of the coconut stuff. Um, so I will be using, since I don't have a highlighter, probably one of the Super Shock shadows for that. And I know. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Out these. <gasps> Jesus. I dropping makeup, it's really bad for it, but I just have shaky hands. <sighs> so, anyway, I've already primed my face, like I was saying. I definitely could have looked it up and seen that the coconut face milk didn't come, didn't come with this set, but I was super excited and was very disappointed when I opened the box and there was no coconut face milk. And I was like, oh, ColourPop did me dirty. No, I just didn't read properly. So, I did my face routine when I got out of the shower um, this morning with my 4-3 Beauty Vitamin C Glowy Skin thing. Again, go check out my unboxing haul and give that a thumbs up if you want to see an updated skin routine. Anyway, so we're just gonna hook my hair back. I feel like I look like a boy when I do this. Still wet, so I don't really want to put it up, but I have my scrunchie in case. So I'm actually, since I've already primed my face, I'm gonna start with some concealer. Please don't come at me if this is the wrong shade because I did order it online. I'm gonna be looking over here. This is my mirror and using this as my mirror never really worked out for me. And also I'm not a makeup artist. So I'm just telling you what I usually do. Cool. Okay. Well, uh, um, this is definitely not my shade. Um, we're gonna see if we can make it work because I feel like lighter is better than darker. Yeah, definitely not my shade, but my skin is kind of gross. But I do kind of like this applicator, not gonna lie. It's actually better on camera than it is on yeah. Alright, well, um, we're done. Happy Hanukkah. Um, yeah, no, it's definitely, but it's a warm tone, which I think was really good. I definitely do have warm undertones. I was a little nervous about that. I have a spot on my neck. I should cover that up. I'm not going anywhere, so. I'll do that. And then I'm gonna take out my disgusting beauty blender. I really need to. Um, this would be a really good concealer for cutting my crease. Um, it's really nice coverage, gonna be honest. Um, I talk like I know, but I like it better than the other one I had. Hmm, yeah, it looks pretty nice. It doesn't even look that, like, too light. Kind of covers some of the redness.
yeah, it doesn't look too bad. It's definitely blended in really well. Um, you know, I like it. It definitely covered up like my redness, like it's definitely full color coverage and like you can barely see the fact that I haven't slept in a while. Um, and so I'm just gonna go in, I've heard about this, that you have to set it like immediately. So I'm just gonna go in with my pressed powder from it's a uh, cover girl press powder i actually really love this one i bought it like because they didn't have is that like a south bend walmart or something actually i think it was my target but they didn't have like the pressed powder that i usually used at the time and then i bought this and definitely will be rebuying i love it so much um i just don't wear makeup that often so i don't really have to um and I bought it, I think it's in the shade Light to Fair, um, but I'm gonna set all of my concealer with it. I love it. Sometimes I just wear this if I don't wanna wear concealer. Although, honestly, this kit's been so bad that I haven't really not used concealer in a while, but um, yeah. So I've heard that you have to set it immediately. So I use this to set all my makeup, but yeah. It's my favorite. Um, it's in, it's translucent light, but it's a pressed powder, and it's in the shade two. Um, wow, I'm a little tanner than I thought. I think the first one actually might be just like true translucent powder, but this is like has a little bit of tint in it, but really it just sets stuff really well, so concealer doesn't start to crease. Um, and then before we zoom in. I should probably finish my face, shouldn't I? Mm, I don't know, I don't know. I guess we'll contour it. So I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna kind of use both shades. I'm gonna look like a fucking idiot. There's no way I'm dark enough to use. Maybe we'll use the other one. To... Okay. So this is the lighter shade. Um, talk to the palm. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. A little bit under my cheekbones, a little bit, add some color back to my face, top of my forehead, you know, or on the jawline. Um, I'm gonna use the same. I'm definitely supposed to use a bigger brush for this. I'm gonna use this brush. I don't remember where I acquired this brush, but it is like my favorite brush, and I wish I knew. I don't think I bought it. Like, I'm pretty sure this got acquired to me when I was swimming, and I washed it all the time because I was really afraid of it, but wish I knew where I bought it because I could use another one. So, yeah. Oh, wow. This is pigmented. Okay, don't go in with a, just go in with a tap tap because this is gonna be a, wow, I just tapped it all over my desk. Um, wow, okay, so like the color payoff and the pigmentation on this is crazy. Like you can, definitely already see that um wow in love okay because i just did like a tap tap and got it all over my desk which don't love but then i'm tapping it back up because i just cleaned my desk so i can do that and like this is all from like one tap into the palette so um yeah highly and I really like, actually, it blended really nicely into the concealer. I don't look ridiculously much. I'm actually just going to go in for another, for just a slight tap like, into my forehead. Just to warm it up because it's freezing. Wow. Okay. Yes. We love this. That is going to be a rebuy. I love it. But definitely you need like negative apps like be so soft that but yeah like look at that like it definitely huge fan this is gonna be a massively long video so much editing it's fine but yeah so then i'm actually gonna take the darker shade because i want to use both and i'm gonna contour my nose with it i'm a little bit afraid about the color payoff on this um i really need to wash my brushes um <laughs> Like this video if you want to see me wash things. Um, but so I'm gonna use this to contour my nose. I usually don't use powder. Oh, this is really dark for me. That's fine. Um,
So I broke my nose when I was very young. Not very young, like eighth grade. And so now, like contouring it is like a challenge. Like this is way dark on me, but maybe like in summer I'll use it or maybe I'll give it to a tan friend. Um, yeah, so this nose contour may have just ruined the whole look. So I look like Cindy Lou now. Okay, we're gonna go over with some pressed powder and see if we can't salvage this situation. If not, we're gonna take it off. But it does look, I mean, it works. Or maybe I could do my brows with it. Hmm. Go try that. Okay, so salvage the nose with some pressed powder. You can definitely see the contour, but it's not the worst thing in the world. It's a very dark shade. My nose definitely looks smaller. But yeah, so I broke my nose and right here always needs to be contoured. And when I learned about nose contouring, it was genuinely the best thing that ever happened to me. And so you know what? We're gonna try this darker color for my brows. Let's see what happens. This is not the right brush for this. Don't come at me. I'm also out of setting gel, but a little long, but don't hate. Okay. And so the bronzers can be used for your brows. Nice job. And it definitely, like, my brows are so black that it definitely, like, warms them up. And I don't mind coloring them in a little darker in winter because, like, my hair looks pretty blonde, especially in this lighting, but, like, not always. And I really have not done my brows in ages, but I don't mind using, like, a warmer color than usual. I use a very, very light color in summer, but, yeah, my brows are really uneven right now. Hmm. Don't hate. Hmm. All right, well, did my brows in that. Um, okay, so now we're gonna use the lippy scrub and the lippy balm. We're gonna use the lippy scrub first to like prepare. So like, it looks like that, oh, that's pretty nice. Um, ooh, it smells faintly pinky Florida. I haven't used all of these scrub in so long, but I'm really addicted to this. It just looks so relaxing and I've heard they taste good. Mm. Yeah, tastes pretty good. Um, so I'm just gonna leave that on. Ew, okay. No, don't eat that much of it. But I'm just gonna leave that on. lots of product you don't need that much i feel like i've been saying that a lot um but so that's the scrub it up dub um, i'm gonna leave it on no i do i don't really know how long you're supposed to leave it on but i'm gonna leave it on while i do my eyeshadow and then we'll come back to it and do the lippy balm before we do the tints so now you're a little bit closer um so we can do the eyeshadow um i'm gonna start by like priming them. So I prime them when I put concealer on, I put them on and then I put pressed powder down. So we're gonna do that and then, yeah. I feel like they tell me that reds look really good on blue eyes. So where's my fluffy brush? Hey. So we're gonna go in with Shell Yeah. The picture will be right here. And we're gonna put that bad boy like, I don't know was. I'm going to go in with Lovely Bunch and put that all over my crease just to kind of like start her out. Oh wow, yeah. So see that color payoff is already like massive. So you need like literally a tap. Mm, yeah. She blends really nice though. Huge fan. my crease next we're gonna go in with the color shell yeah and i'm just gonna put that in like my lower crease a little bit like less all over just like under that brown color i'm gonna cut my crease so i'm not super worried about getting it onto the lid 
Um, I just want to be able to see both of those colors. Okay, so then next I'm going to go in with the darkest color. Mm. Yeah, the darkest color, Nutty. And put that in my actual corner and onto my lid just a little. So I feel like this is like, some of these colors are like a little hard to work with, but again, they may not have been like broken in yet. I feel like, um, but they're super pigmented. I don't know, I take it. I'm probably gonna cut that part out because I'm not qualified to review makeup. Okay, I've definitely been bringing it way too far under my eyelid. Okay. So beautiful. I also, um, honestly, I'm not going anywhere fancy enough to wear eyeshadow under my lid, so I'm gonna cut the sides too. I don't know if anybody else does that, but I cut the sides to make it look like it's got like a fierce, yeah. Um, and then I'm gonna take it on a brush. And I'm just gonna and then cut my creases. So from the inner corner, I'm just gonna move it along my lid just to about the midway point, and I might need a little more. Just like reprep it so that. I can put a lighter shadow under a darker shadow. Like, honestly, yeah. That's what it looks like. My definitely like very small eyeshadow looks today because I just had dinner with my housemates um, and I don't want anybody to be like, what the fuck, you're not going out. Because uh, that is fine. And then I'm just gonna gently like Press this in because I'm gonna deal with this. Like blend it in. I'm gonna deal with it after I finish the eyeshadow. But I just don't want it to like dry in a line like that. So slowly start to blend that. Yeah. Then there's like a nice sharp line between. People are gonna come at me for mixing powder and. So I just want that sharp line there between the eyeshadow and like the rest of the eye. So yeah, there's my cut crease. Okay. This definitely works very nicely for a cut crease. Huge fan, although it's starting to like physically crease, which is not what we wanted, but whatever. Okay. Anyhow. Next, I'm going to take this one, this brush, and I'm going to go in with... Yeah, Coco Crush and then Palm Reader. So Coco Crush is like the middle shimmer shade, and we're just gonna like pat that in in there. Yeah, pretty much why I like that. It definitely has like more of a gold kind of shimmer to it than I was expecting, but mm, not bad. Pat that into the middle. Definitely more gold than I was expecting, but. And then I'm gonna take the lightest palm reader, which is in some of their former palettes, this has been like a pressed glitter, which you're not supposed to use close to your eye. And like, I wanna use a white shimmer shade, like in the corner of my eye, right? Ooh, this one has a little bit of fallout. That might be a me issue. Um, I probably didn't tap the brush, whatever. But so, I really wanna use that white light color like in the corner of my cre like in the corner of my eye to brighten my eyes, which like look at the difference that made. Although we do have a little bit of fallout here. That should go away pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, so it's not a press glitter, it's actually a shade you can use there, which is great. So I'm just gonna really quick sweep through some of that fallout. And then I'm gonna take my beauty blender again and I'm gonna blend in that concealer that I've been using to really give that that sharp edge there and then i'm gonna set that with powder so you can see that sharp edge 
but I really just want to blend it out like where there isn't the eyeshadow so that you can't see the line necessarily. It looks a little harsher on camera, but yeah. So that just like pleated that bad boy. And so we're gonna go in and just set that with the same powder we set the rest of our face with, which is that Cover Girl in the shade two. You know, I really like the eyebrows with the bronzer. Um, I don't mind my nose contour. So yeah, so that's the eyeshadow. Um, cool. So we're gonna back you out again so that I can do my highlighter and give you a look at the full look. So I'm actually gonna use the lightest super shock shadow because um, it has like gold tints and I'm also very pale. And so this is what it looks like. Um, and I'm gonna take This brush, again, don't come at me if I'm using the wrong brushes. I get it. I use this brush for like, sometimes I use it for cream highlighters, but whatever. We're gonna use it for this guy. Okay, so it has a very, very, maybe I'm just not, I definitely just like tapped it in there because I was a little afraid of putting too much on since it's just like, but yeah, it like looks really nice. It has some really nice iridescent shimmer to it. and it's not too harsh, like being a eyeshadow. I do think if you like pat it in as an eyeshadow, it might be a little harsh for a highlight. Um, but dude, I'm always trying to glow, so. And then I'm just gonna bring it on the tip of my nose to make sure I have a button nose. And a little bit down my nose. Um, yeah, that's pretty dope. I like it a lot. Um, so usually I put mascara on, but I'm being lazy. And lately like, my eyes have been really been bothering me, so I might wait to put mascara on later, but so that's the eyes so far. Um, I'm gonna go wipe off my lips and then we'll do some lips. <laughs> so my lips definitely feel very exfoliated. Um, I haven't worn makeup in a long time, um, but I feel like this look isn't like too over the top because I did keep that lower in the crease and the sparkle isn't like insane, but I also could see you using this palette, especially the Super Shocks for like going out. I'm really enjoying that. But yeah. Anyway, we're gonna get into the lips, which is my favorite part. Um, so I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna use one from each because I don't want anything too dramatic. So I'm gonna use the two lighter shades. Um, so I'm gonna do Island Time like in the middle and I'm gonna use the Shaka in the outside. And I've heard that these are a little bit more like everyday friendly. Like they're not a liquid lip. So I don't know how to open it. Oh, it's like a crayon. Okay, so we're gonna use this. Also it's like lip liner because it's a crayon. So we're gonna go in the outside here. So it feels great on, like absolutely wonderful on. I do have this one freckle on the one side that makes it look like my lipstick's going like wonky, but it's not, I swear. Um, and then I'm gonna use Island Time in the middle. Oh wow, these feel so buttery. Okay, so this is a little bit heatier than I was expecting, but I don't hate it. These feel amazing on. So definitely like would recommend the lippies. They definitely like hold their color. Like they don't um, give in to that darker color, which I find really difficult sometimes when I'm using a nude that it gives in to the, whatever color I use out there. Um, so yeah, oh, I didn't. So we're gonna go over and highlight. I wore this shirt so that I could highlight my cheekbones and then I forgot to because that is literally my brand. I definitely could have put some contour down here, but I chose not to. But I always highlight my cheekbones. If I'm wearing like a top where my shoulders are showing, I highlight my shoulders too. But yeah, it's like literally my brand. Look at that. It was like really simple, but it already looks so much like nicer, more prominent. 
yeah, definitely could toss a little bronzer in there, especially with these nice new palettes. But yeah, so I don't think I'm gonna toss on. I actually really love that smoky eye. I feel like it makes my eyes look big even without mascara, so I'm definitely gonna leave that off for a little while. It's kind of all of my brand. Oh, I didn't use the lip balm. Whatever, I'll use it in another video. But so that's the look. Um. Oh, said it, duh. Okay, so I'm gonna use my ColourPop All-Star Setting Spray. I used this actually in my first video that I ever posted on YouTube. Um, It is matte, so sometimes like if I'm going out and I wanna look a little bit like flashier, I will put on highlighter after I set the rest of my face or I'll put on more highlighter again after I set the rest of my face. Um, But yeah, so thanks so much for watching. If you wanna see more videos like this, um, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. If there is a particular product that you'd like to see me use, oh, look at that hair, it's just dried so nice. So I use this hair mask and like the first wash, like it looks great for like the first hour and then it looks disgusting and dirty. And then like the second wash, it just like looks amazing. So give this video a thumbs up, um, like, subscribe, comment, all of the good stuff. Um, but please leave a comment down below if um, there's a product you'd like me to try. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> we'll see you next time. And then bye.